Okay, so as Chile, political correspondent for a worldwide network like CNN, what do you do for the network? Oh, boy. Um, I, there are lots of political reporters at CNN at this point. Um, when I started, I was the only one sort of dedicated to politics, but now politics, which just consumes Washington, it's hard to tell the difference between policy and politics. So what I'd like to do and what I sort of specialize in, I hope, is take that 50,000 foot view of what's going on. Um, very often I think um, that networks and reporters get into reporting on buildings. Here at the White House, this is happening. Up here on Capitol Hill, this is happening. The State Department says this or that, so we're covering buildings. And sometimes the story, it involves all of them. And so I like to sort of take a look and say, how does this, how does this all fit? And then I do a Sunday morning show uh, for them as well, which centers on politics. And so how do you try to make sure that you're not biased in your reporting? You know, I tell people all the time, when you, we are all biased. Um, the, the key is to know where you are biased. Now, one of the great things about journalism is there's always an editor, there's a producer, there's somebody that's going to look at your copy before it goes out into the public. And usually there are two or three buddies who do that. So they're on the alert for that. So if you're unaware of them. But it, you, you know, we all grew up a certain way um, in a family with certain things. Maybe we believe the exact opposite, but nonetheless, you don't come to journalism as a blank slate. What it is your duty to do is to try to put those things aside, but not be unaware of them. I often think that sometimes when I interview someone, and I'm not political in the sense of Republican or Democrat, um, but obviously when issues come up, you think, oh, well, this kind of sounds like I feel this way about this particular issue. When I know that, I think that I tend to be harder on the people I agree with. And I think it's because I know you know, that I agree with them. I think, well, then what are the ten questions? But I honestly try to do that with anyone that sits down with me. If I'm on the opposite side of this person, what am I going to ask them about? And somehow it said that the Obama administration said that they would be more transparent than past administrations, yet it seems that some reporters are claiming that that's not true. Yeah, are not you so seeing much. that it's harder to gain access? More and more. Oh, my goodness, yes. My goodness, yes. Especially if you have a Sunday talk show, because the White House controls... Any, anyone that works for the administration has to be approved by the White House to go on TV on Sunday mornings, or at any point for that matter. So I can't just call up, I can call up the secretary and say, hey, I really would like you to come on, Treasury Secretary, and talk to me about this or that. But in order for that to happen, the White House has to okay it. And if the White House has a message they do or do not want to have out, they make those decisions. Now, every White House tries to control the message. This is, this is a pretty, they, they, they've taken it to a new, new heights. And I think, you know, because of the promise, we're gonna be the most transparent um, group in history. Um, they've fallen short of that, and I think you're hearing reporters complain about that now. And in many ways, not just the tight hold on the people who can talk, but in the process, and how did, how did you come to this, and who met with that group, and who's in the White House, and, and those kind of things that you like to know as a reporter. And what is the process to get someone onto the Sunday TV show? Of State of the oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> you know, you just pound the phones all the time. Um, you, you know, when I'm, when I'm talking to someone, and um, I say, hey, you know, Senator, I'd love to have you come on. Um, generally, they'll say, oh, yeah, I'd love to do that. But then you got to call my guy. But then by the time you call their guy, um, they found a reason why their guy can't go on or can't go on this week. So it's really, a, it's a very much a group effort. It's very, we have bookers, we have, you know, editors. Somebody will call and say, hey, I had dinner with so-and-so last night, um, and he'd love to come on your show. And so, you know, it's just, it's kind of an all-hands-on-deck effort to book a Sunday show. And some have said that ratings have decreased at cable news networks. What do you think the future holds for the networks? Oh, I think, <laughs> I think that um, the, the way news is presented gets changed. I think there's an opportunity for 
uh, cable networks um, one hopes to offer some depth because I do think that people get their immediate news off the internet now they're sitting in the office or they're you know for heaven's sakes it's in their hand um, it, so we know that people are getting the headlines and so you get back to what reporting really is I mean my favorite question in the five W's or the who I when where when why why to me is like the best journalist question that you can ask because that gives people context so I think there's an opportunity for context but there's no doubt that everything's going digital I mean I, I think we we all know that and one more question do you have any advice for people who are trying to get into the field remember that um, journalism is not television and it's not the internet and it's not radio and it's not newspapers journalism is the finding out of facts and putting them together um, in a way that is informative to the people you're serving which is the general public you can take that journalism and put it anywhere you know you can put it on TV or you can put it on the internet or you could so don't don't ever confuse the medium um, with with what you're trying to do and and if you truly truly want to be a journalist first of all you have to wanna but second of all understand it's really not don't let it suck up your life <laughs> you know you, you because it can it's just one of those all-absorbing um, careers that if you let it be it will be what you become and you don't want to do that so you have to find that balance in there even knowing um, that sometimes um, you're gonna have to break the balance because something you know something newsy is happening and you're needed but you, you really really have to want to do it and not look at it as some way to get rich or get famous um, you just kind of want to want to be a journalist that's out of passion yeah all right thank you absolutely